process to see the modifications, that the first process must write the page on disk and the second pay, uh, process should read it from disk. But if there would not the second process, uh, the first one could wait until commit and write its page on commit. But under load it has to write pages often, more often than uh, without load. So, big page cache with many modified pages and high concurrency means that a lot of pages are written on disk and read from disk uh, much more often than on, in the super server architecture. And this is just produce an advisable extra load on the disk subsystem and this is really maybe the bigger bottleneck for the classic server than just lack of the shared cache. More modern architecture to benefit from multi-threading, to benefit from the shared cache. But actually we know that it doesn't work well really, at least not in the way Borland uh, wanted it uh, to behave. Why? First of all, a big shared page uh, cache is good, but until recently uh, we were limited by the 32 bits address space and this means 2 or 3 gigabytes of memory for cache. Oh, well, not for cache, for the entire operating system and all the pro uh, for single process. Uh, but nowadays we see that many databases are really huge and even a few gigabytes of memory system, be it system or ca fiber cache, are just not enough to handle uh, the work, the load efficiently. People would like to have more memory allocated for cache, especially if we talk about dedicated servers that handle only fiber and set up to run only fiber. Uh, they do not waste their memory for other processes. So, until recently it was really a problem in scalability.